Saturday, September the 4th, please welcome the lovely DJ Qualls, everybody, DJ Qualls. <laughs> I'm, I'm very well. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank I, you for I, having me. I'm very, very glad you're on the show. I'm a big admirer of your work. I, I, I'm a big fan of the movie Road Trip. Yeah, I saw you the... laugh when you said I was an actor. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that wasn't... That wasn't... I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at me trying to be somebody I'm not, is what I was laughing at. I was laughing at my own pathetic, desperate attempt for affection from the audience. Yeah, we all love you. Yeah, well, that, that, thanks. Anyway, what does DJ stand for? Donald Joseph. Really? Yeah, my mother hates it, though. Oh. Um, yeah, she had a cesarean, and um, she went under, and my father uh, refused to leave the hospital until she, he, uh, she signed the birth certificate. He wanted Donald Joseph. Um... <laughs> they had divorced two years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you'll have to run me by uh, through this again. Uh, she, she has a cesarean. Yes. To have you. Right. Because I, I weighed ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Anyways, well, I actually was very. I weighed ten pounds something as well yeah. when I was born. Yeah. Anyway, look. The so your mother has a cesarean. Right. And your father. Snatches the opportunity to, to call you, you what he Donald wants. Joseph. Because yeah, right. what did your mother want to call you? Then? Uh, Michael Brandon, I think. So you then you would be MB. Qualls. Yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't sound the same. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's the whole point of having different <laughs> letters. <laughs> 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 Because if they all sounded the same, we would still be monkeys, right. you know? Yeah, go, because we'd be going, ooh, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You see where I'm going? You have to have different letters right. make different sounds. You learn something new every day. Yeah. I never thought I'd have to explain language to you. I mean, now, what about, uh, do people think you're a DJ sometimes? Do All they... the time. Really? Yeah, there was a guy who was DJing in Chicago under my name. We had to tell him to stop. <laughs> people... by, by we, you mean you and your high-priced Hollywood lawyers? Yeah. yeah. I mean, people were showing up expecting to see me. Ah. I don't know why, but they were. I, I, no, I, I would go see you, especially if you were going to be spinning tracks. Right. And... <laughs> Is that, what you, is that what they call it? Is that what they call it? And, um, yeah. Did they call it spinning tracks? I, not a DJ. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I'm an actor. I know, that's what, I, know, that's what I completely <laughs> forgot. Hey, where are you from, then? I'm from Tennessee. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, I'm in a town called Manchester. We have a festival called Bonnaroo. Have you ever heard of it? Like yes, 80, yeah, of course. Very famous up. music yeah. festival. Do people ask you to go there and uh, spin your tracks? No, uh, they, they haven't yet. <laughs> No, that's a, the, is it, the only place I've been to in Tennessee is uh, Memphis. Is oh, it Memphis, Memphis is great. I shot a movie there a few years ago. Oh, I love that amazing. Town. Yeah, it's I fantastic. don't remember ever being in Memphis though. Every time you go, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, debauched. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not, not for me. I went to, uh, I went. <laughs> I, I went to I went to Graceland. You've been to Graceland? Oh, I have. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? It's pretty sad though. Like people have graffitied everything, like in the neighborhood. Well, that was me. Of... I just wanted oh, people really? to know. <laughs> you were out there for like three years. Yeah, I was tagging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went tagging before I was spinning my tracks. <laughs> no, do you? Are you an Elvis fan? Yeah, I am. I mean, I um, I sort of like rejected all things Tennessee growing up, like country music, Elvis, all that stuff. Right. But I found it as an adult. Yeah, I did the same with stuff. Haggis. <laughs> I've always been a big fan of Elvis, though. Yeah. Do you know that, uh, that his family was Scottish? No. That's a lie, but I <laughs> thought... <laughs> I thought it would be cool if they were, but they were But the only country that he ever visited outside of uh, Germany on his national service and the United States was Scotland. Why? Because he was on the way back from Germany and he had to, his plane had to refuel for an hour. And he got off the plane and walked around Prestwick Airport in Scotland. And now there's a plaque up that said, Oh, Elvis was here. <laughs> I'll have to visit that next time I'm in Scotland. Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there many times. Really? Edinburgh, yeah. Is that where you got your sweater? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I wore this in honor of you. It's not, it's, I'm sure it's, it's not. No, it's, 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 very, very it's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> 
like, you came out and I'm like, where am I? I am back in the old country. It's great. I would have worn a kilt. I have a sock that would match it. <laughs> I was going for a kilt, but I don't have the legs to carry. No, that no, off. you don't. You don't want to do that. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't want one of I'm those. I'm American now, anyway. It's all. Yeah, I heard that. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, it's good that you are because I was kind of pissed that you're taking our jobs, but now yeah. that you're in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... True story. We've got to go. We can take some more coming. DJ Qualls, everybody, thank you very much. <laughs>
the mansion and we got to see it from his perspective. Like he was like, this is what happened here and these wow. are the girls that we did. Hey, no. Like, no. He did, We he don't did. talk like that anymore. You just said Ooh, la, la. like 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, no, no, no. That's, you're thinking of Fallon. You don't get any of that stuff right here. All right, I, it may have slipped out yeah. occasionally. Yeah, all right. But it was neat, and it reminded me of when, I mean, to a lot lesser scale, when I first made a little money acting. Like, you really, it's called redneck rich. You, you, anything that you can think of that, like, to put on your body to make yourself look rich or to put in your house, it was all mirrors. Like, you had a room that was completely pleated with this peacock fabric. The jungle yeah. room is... I've seen it. I've been there. Yeah, but it's not... It's, it's he, not really a room. He never called it the jungle room. It's an outdoor porch. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of disappointing, Elvis, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> It was Did you go to the cars, though? The cars are awesome. They didn't show us the cars. Well, that's the best part. The they, cars and the planes. We didn't see them. He had three planes. I didn't see them. I got are you jerked. sure? Are you, I'm not sure I went to Graceland. You sure you went to Graceland? <laughs> Did some guy just take you in his trailer? <laughs> he totally did. You know, over yeah, here. Yeah, DJ, this is Graceland. Now lie down there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, want a little uh, Rohypnol in here? <laughs> Is that what they call it, Roy? Oh, oh, no, you, yeah. oh you know. Yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> I've got a big bottle exactly. of it right here, yeah. <laughs> ah, well, that sounds like you're having fun then. You're good. Yeah, I'm happy. This is the best job I've ever had. Playing a cop. Whoever would have thought I was going to play a cop? You look a bit like a cop. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, I was telling people when I first got the show that I was playing a cop, and I got this, like, <laughs> a, a real cop? And I'm like, yeah, and, but it's great because I'm tasing people and shooting people and jumping off roofs. It's, uh, it's, it's all really, the cop really fun. fun right there. Exactly. Isn't that what cops do? Yes, that's all. What about the donuts? You haven't got to them then yet. Donuts. Really? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, did you do any of the ride-alongs with the, you know, the real cops? No, but they, uh, they told us, uh, we got to go to the police station. Oh, and well, there you go, that's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was all the research we needed. Yeah, yeah. I've um, got to go to a police yeah. station or two before that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say, I'm relying on my past experience with yeah, law enforcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different from their point of view, though, the cops. So, like, after, you know, I sobered up and stopped getting into trouble, I actually, you know, got to meet and got friendly with cops. They're really, they're, actually, they're fine. They're really, really yeah, nice no, people. they're nice, and yeah. You know that cocky walk that cops have, like that sort of like swagger? Yeah. I realized after I put on the gun belt, it weighs like 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. It changes. You have to walk like that. Yeah. Like you, just to keep your pants up. Yeah. And it pulls down your underwear. So I'm going to invent something that keeps up your underwear and make a million dollars. So I don't have to keep coming back on this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, how do I get me some of that sweet underwear action? <laughs> I'd like to be part of that. I want this job. If, if when you fire him, I want this job. I love this job. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you can't, man. I can fit that outfit. Uh. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, you know he's got beads there. You see, he's got beads. You know how he got them. He showed his... Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That Craig... <laughs> this show got weird. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? It's because I stopped giving. Hey, caramba! Yeah. <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing, I know. Yeah. Well, uh, we're out of time. So, oh, no. uh, so knock it off, you. Okay. So, uh, anything you want to wrap it up with? Any kind of like moments of wisdom? Stuff you want to say? No, this is my favorite show to come on, though. <laughs> Not Ooh la la! Show to appear on. God oh, damn it. We'd, we'd prefer if you did that in your dressing room. We were doing so, I do it in Memphis. We, we were doing so well. We, no, you, you can't open it to me. You have to be the funny one. I can't, hey, I can't if be the, wise. If, if I've got to be the funny one on this show, we're both up. What's a coming creek? Uh, <laughs> sorry, we're both up. What's a coming to go creek? <laughs> Um, all right, so we're done. Anyway, that's it. So stop interrupting me. Okay. All right. So let me wrap it up like a professional. Okay, way. do it. All right. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo -doo. Right, let's get... Oh, what the hell? That, that, where's that at the door now? <gasps> DJ Quan! DJ, 
I, I was just about to do the emails. I've got. I, I don't. Uh, well, I heard you were giving away money, and I was. No, in, no, I'm not giving. Up. I was in line to get into the Price Is Right, but they were full, so I thought yeah. I'll come over to Greg. Do you like the Price Is Right? I love it. Do you, have you seen that Drew Carey recently? He's great. He I looks exactly the same as you now. <laughs> I was really anti him at first, but... Really? Yeah, I mean, Bob Barker, come on. Yeah, but Bob's 104. I, no. I like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good, but, you know, the, the, uh, the thing is... I'm just putting my money over there. I got to deal with it later. <laughs> no, because the... Look, look, we'll do the tweets and the emails right, right, anyway, right? right? Now, but uh, Drew, I think, is doing a good job. He's doing right? a great yeah, job. Yeah, good. I good. watch it every day. Do you really? I really do. I TiVo it because I wake up at 2, but I watch it. You wake up at 2? Yeah. Do you know Tyson at all? <laughs> Hey, Tyson. Yeah. By the way, if you want a job in entertainment, you're going to have to wax a lot of dudes. <laughs> then it's not going to happen. It's true, man. It's true. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for bringing an element of realism to the show. <laughs> the upside of it is later on, Brooke Shields will be here, and I get to wax her. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. In my dreams, anyway. All right. <laughs> Hey, um, do you mind? Uh, do, can you, do you want to help me? Yeah, I'll help you. All right, then. Uh, this is from Panu. Well, that's an interesting name, nice. isn't it? Yeah. It reminds me of something else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Panu in Sotkamo in Finland. Wow! Nice. You're all over the world. I, that's, you know why? Uh, that's on the, the YouTube. It's not CBS. It's CBS is like, oh, no. But the people steal the uh, CBS, valuable CBS content and put it on the computers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, anyway, Pano and... Uh, can you do a fin Finnish accent? No, I can't. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm not good at accents. I do Scottish. <laughs> So do I. You want to hear it? <laughs> no, it's yeah. awful. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, the Panu says, uh, Dear Craig, this is Finnish. Okay. You're, you're good. Well, it's kind of, you know, uh, what I do is I do a British actor being a Nazi in a 1940s film, and I pretty much covers so everything. So does Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, kid. All right, yeah. Uh, Panu in Sotkamo, Finland says, Dear Craig, for a while now I have been practicing playing harmonica or mouth organ and I have a really hard time learning to bend the notes. Can you give me an answer? Do you play the harmonica? I don't. I play the clarinet. Really? Well, I did in high school. You surprised me. I didn't think you'd do anything that geeky. I know. I know. Yeah. I do a lot of geeky stuff. Really? Do you still play the clarinet? No, I can't play it anymore. It makes mouth wrinkles and it's not good. It's not good for TV. We shoot in HD, our TV show does, so yeah, I don't like it. No, all right. Uh, all right. Well, Woody Allen plays the clarinet. Uh, I'm, surpri I'm not surprised. <laughs> he also probably plays the accordion. <laughs> it's a geeky instrument. What, the accordion? Yeah. Drew Carey plays the accordion. Oh, then it's not so geeky. All right, it's not so <laughs> I can play the harmonica, but there you go. When I take this show, you should do that okay. on the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you and Tyson. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Joyce in Honolulu in Hawaii. Do you like going to Hawaii? You ever been there? I do. I uh, shot uh, a little bit of TV there, and it was a good time. Yeah, it's no, a little I'm... bit um, uh, cracky and prostitute in some places, which. <laughs> When you go to Hawaii, I know you, you think it, oh, it's not, and then you it's turn like up, you, go, you think it's going to be Bali High, and it's right. Reno. Yeah. <laughs> Which, hey, listen, I'm not complaining. I think no, that's no, I great. Had a great, I had a great time. Yeah. I don't remember any of it. Yeah. Uh, Joyce in Honolulu, Hawaii says, uh, Dear Craig, I really hate public speaking, especially when I get graded for it. How can I get that screw what you think attitude? <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. That's a loaded question. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, the, the implication would be that I have that, and I certainly do know I care very deeply what CBS thinks of me. I think your show has gotten your show's gotten a lot better since you clearly don't care anymore. No, I don't. I don't. It's good not to well, care. But the thing is, you, you, you mustn't care too much, but you can't fake it. You have to really not right. care. Oh, I, I yeah. can tell you don't care at all. No, I, I do, actually. I do really care. I'm on your show. How much could you care? <laughs>
<laughs> Come on, man, we don't have anyone here. I don't just, like, pick any old loser out of the audience and put him in that chair, you know. <laughs> I, no, I do not. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just waxing you, dude. I'm just waxing you. Uh, all right, here's one from uh, someone. And here's another one. Uh, oh, no, this is very interesting. This is from Brittany in uh, Messick in uh, Michigan. Okay, what's it say? She says, Dear Craig, is honesty always really the best policy? What do you think? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> it it's, depends on what you want out of the situation. That's, no, 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 not that situation. That, no, that, everything goes pornographic with you, Craig. No, no, it's not pornographic. What you did there, that was sociopathic, your response. <laughs> You know, it's honestly the best policy. It depends what you want out of the situation. Well, if you don't want to get beaten up or slapped or... You always lie. <laughs> did no, you, no. Did you flip me off? No. <laughs> Does this look good on me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do, do guys sometimes run up to you in traffic and say, Does this look good on me? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Well, then that would be frightening. Um... All right, this is uh, from Matt in Hewlett in, uh, in New York. It says, Dear Craig, is it considered a compliment when a gay person says you look good? You look good. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? I, I think it's a compliment when anyone gay or straight tells you you look good. Absolutely. That's, 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 the compliments are not connected to gender, sexual preference. Absolutely. But I will say this. It tends, I have noticed, I hate to make generalizations, but I have noticed that gay men tend to notice when things look good a little more than when straight men uh, are looking at things. You said it. Exactly, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Is George Takei the voice of that? No. It sounds like it. And in fact, for legal reasons, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> You do care. You lied. Ah. You worried about getting sued. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm worried about Jeff getting sued. Oh, that's right. You're looking out for your Look friend. at him. He doesn't have a lot of money. Look at that suit. <laughs> He's still you wearing... You said it, Yeah, Craig. exactly. All right, we're out of time. Are we out of time? All right, we're out of time, DJ. Oh, no. Yeah, I wasn't was... funny enough to be invited back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my only source of income right now. You get paid for this? I do. Three... <laughs> $35. And a coffee mug. Oh, you get the coffee mug, yeah. Yeah. And you get the t-shirt. Oh, yeah, and the t-shirt actually fits, and I wear it all the time. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Because unlike other talk shows, they give you a large, but you guys give me an extra small. <laughs> it's only because you're adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're out of time, dude. I'm going to have to kick you out, because Brooke Shields is coming. I know. Yeah. Make way for Brooke Shields. Yeah, well, pff, yeah. All right. So uh, it's been awesome, though. I've had a great time. Invite me back. Okay. You I'm unemployed. Come back? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and we're done. DJ Qualls, everybody. Oh, the emails. Oh. I didn't know you were coming on the show tonight. I didn't know I was coming by either. Did you but run into the horse no, and the Australian was, lesbians or no, what? No, I was in line for The Price is Right. You were in line for The get Price is Right. Yeah. That's what happened to these people. Yeah. They wanted to... <laughs> they're actually nodding in agreement. Yeah, like, no, I, no, it's true. Like, they go to see The Price is Right and they're like, I'm oh, sorry, that's booked up months in advance, but you can go and see this douche. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> So true. I'm going to do the tweets and the emails, so I don't have time to uh, ask you questions about your movie or All right. I, I don't have a movie, so we're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> really don't have a movie? No, I'm on a TV show. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. How's that going? Oh, uh, we got picked up again. I'm hey, in this beat. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We start again in the spring. All right, let's do these. What is it? It's in Hawaii, that show, isn't it? No, it's in Memphis. Memphis, Memphis yeah, Memphis, Memphis Beat. beat. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why I thought it was a show in Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because Elvis lived in Memphis, but he liked to go to Hawaii. That's how I... Right. Uh, I see it, I see freeze it. Freeze frame, high five. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, this is from uh, Colleen in Madison, Wisconsin. You, uh, you ever been to Wisconsin? 
No. <laughs> I haven't. I don't know much about the Midwest. Oh well, they're cheese. Ver cheese and very nice people. And it's cold. Only in the winter. No, it's cold all the time. No, no, in the summertime it's in fact warm. See, That's no how warm. they know the difference between summer and winter. <laughs> I'm a bad American. No, you're not a bad American. You're just a lazy <laughs> one, DJ. Anyway, was, hey, Craig and DJ, they would have probably put All right. All right, it's Mark Twain's 175th birthday today. Are you a fan? Uh, <laughs> do you enjoy Mark Twain? Do you enjoy his work? I do. I like the idea of him. Reading is not really my thing. Was Salman Rushdie here, or is he coming? No, Salman Rushdie is here tonight, later on. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he writes he books. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He doesn't spend his whole day playing Angry Birds on his smartphone. <laughs> I do. Yeah, no. Well, but Salman Rushdie isn't isn't Mark Twain. They're both writers, but they're. I can tell them apart. You can. Yeah. So, like, if Mark Twain was to walk out now, I, 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 you know what? I, I, I got out my pants. <laughs> I if he was were. Gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. Oh, you were? Yeah. Right, well, you want to say it now? I was going to. Uh oh. My pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's funnier it was, when you it said was, it. No, it's better when you said it. Hey, this is from Adrian in Pigeon Forge in Tennessee. Tennessee, that's where Tennessee, I'm Tennessee, that's yes. where you met the Memphis Beacon! Oh, yeah. Dollywood is there. Dollywood? What, yeah. Pigeon Forge? Yes, yeah, she has her own amusement yeah. park. <laughs> <laughs> that, woman, that woman has that been walking so around with an amusement <laughs> park for about 40 years. That is so subconscious. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you get the Australian lesbians going in a minute. <laughs> anyway, uh, Adrian and Pigeon Forge. Have you ever forged a pigeon? I haven't. So all your I pigeons dove. are real? Yeah. You never, no one's ever said, can I see your pigeon? And you like... <laughs> if you ask to see my pigeon, <laughs> you're going to see the real thing. In your pants. <laughs> Do you call your pee-pee a pigeon? No, I, when I was little we called it a dog. My mom would always be like, wash your dog. <laughs> Do you know what we called it? What? Bobby. No, you didn't. I swear, but my mom would say, wash your Bobby. <laughs> and now I have a dog called Bobby. That's weird. <laughs> You didn't? No, 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 no. No, we did call it Bobby, but I don't have a dog called Bobby. But I do wash my dog, if no, you know what I'm saying. Dog, <laughs> dog is better. Screwing. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Bobby is, sounds kind of homoerotic when you're talking about your own penis, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, look, have you ever had sex with a man? Oh, absolutely. Uh, backstage. Well, then there you are. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What was the question? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Hold on. Uh, Adrian in Pigeon Forge in Tennessee says, Hey, Craig, and guest! There you are. Oh, there's me. Yeah, yeah, it's you. You're the guest. Do you ever feel... Do you ever feel like you just can't catch up on sleep? I sleep like 18 hours a day. <laughs> yes. That's, uh, that's not technically sleep. That's, you know... That's different. That's, um, stasis. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, it wasn't a good one? You wouldn't want to read that. It wasn't okay. good about you. <laughs> Dear Craig, I hate DJ. Never have him on the show. No, listen. You know what? I was tweeting somebody, and I thought it was you one night. Uh, by the way, it's not you. And um, I was tweeting back and forth with somebody, and so I made a joke. I was like, Dear Craig, you suck. Go back to Australia. And I got, like, a 150 <laughs> angry. He's not from Australia, I'm coming to get you. Was it from the Australian lesbians? <laughs> Is it you guys? He's not from Australia, and we're lesbians. We're coming to get you. I'd be like, here's my address. Here's my address. <laughs> so I stopped tweeting. You stopped tweeting? Yeah, because I never do it unless I've had a couple of drinks, and then the next day I'm waking oh, no. up. no, drunk yeah. tweeting ain't the way to go. It's not good. They should have a breathalyzer <laughs> no, on a cell phone. No, no, you should. They should, you know. You should have. I've got this rule now. I don't send any emails or or just talk to anybody after about 5 o'clock at night. Right. Because yeah, you just, don't know what you're saying. No, I'm just like, I don't even drink or do drugs. I'm just like, I'm not to be trusted. Why well, do them both? And I really am not I know you trusted. drink and do drugs like crazy. I know. <laughs> This is from Nora in Philadelphia. She's an actual duck. Look, she's in a picture. Of her. She's pretty. Yeah, she is pretty. Fine-looking woman. Big. Look at that big breast there. I know. <laughs> she says, uh, Craig, would you ever have a fragrance with your name on it? Oh, would you ever do that? Like Puff Diddley has his own. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what it would smell like. My fragrance. Would well, let smell me smell like... you, and then I'll tell you what you smell like. Oh, you actually smell pretty good. I know, I bet. Yeah. Well, 
Is that? Let me just spell that again. It's kind of like a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's hotel. It's it, ho is hotel. Hotel soap. It's actually hotel, hotel soap? soap. It really is. <laughs> I spent, I spent my whole last summer in New Orleans, so I took like 40 pounds of soap home with me. <laughs> that's in actually your is. Pants. Hey now. No, that's illegal in Louisiana, stealing soap from hotels. Is it really? No, I made it up, okay. but it would be. I think, no, I think once you, once you uh, get the hotel room, yeah, the soap's yours. Else, you, right. can, you can take it, as, along with the towels, the TV, the VCR, everything. Right. They expect you to take it. Would you ever have a fragrance with your name on it? Like DJ. <laughs> If I could be that in the commercial, oh, DJ. Do it, do it, do it then. Mm -hmm. Would you buy it? No, you wouldn't buy it. Well, maybe not the Australian lesbians. They're looking for something like Cobba or something like that. How do you know they're lesbians? I don't. They're just sitting in Lesbian Row, that's all. They're, they're probably not. It's just a, it's a tradition here that that row there, we call it Lesbian Row. It's, it's, oh. it's not meant in any way derogatory against lesbians or rows. I don't watch this show. Huh? I don't watch this show. So no, I don't, I don't watch what this happens. show either. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, these are pretty good over here. Ooh, I came yeah. all this way. Come all on. All right, come on. Then. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. This is the only way I have to be on TV. All so please right, come, come back then. to me. This is all, all I right. have. This is uh, this is uh, let's see. This is from Remy in Flagstaff, Arizona. Okay. Hey, did you ever see? Uh, did you ever see that movie uh, Ratatouille? With a, the rat was called Remy. Oh, was it animated? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I did not see it. It's pretty good. I've got a kid. I've seen it 500 times. Uh, Remy in Flagstaff, Arizona says, "Hi, Craig. My roommate is always criticizing what I eat. How can I tell her to back off?" Mm. Mm. Remy. I'll let you go first. <laughs> All right. Let's do a role play, right? You okay. be the roommate that's criticizing what I eat, okay. and I'll be Remy, right? Okay. Um, that's Ooh, la, la. That's good advice, Remy. That is great advice. That works. Now you, because you got a fright now. I, I would never <laughs> talk to you again. I'd move out. Oh, come on. I'm just a friendly TV buffoon. Now, look. We have to get out of here. Do you want to... Uh, harmonica, mouth organ blowing uh, way out, or would you like to do awkward pause? Let's do awkward pause. I always get jealous when people do awkward pause. All right, so you want to do, do an awkward one. pause? Yes. All right, better bring your acting chops then, boy, because <laughs> I get some awkwardness coming. Taking her money. <laughs> Secretariat? Yeah, I was in the neighborhood. Oh, it's nice to see you. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. Really? I was just about to do the tweets and the emails. Uh, let's change some lives. <laughs> you want to do the tweets and the emails with you? Uh, yeah, but I don't have my contacts in. They're rushing me to get out here, so I can't see anything. You look great, by the way. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, DJ. I have to warn you, though. Does that look blurry to you? <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? This chair is wet. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you do during the commercial break? <laughs> is it really wet? It is do, wet. You want to move over to it? No, I like it. All right. <laughs> well, what, why is wet? Why is this know. chair wet? Is there a leak in the roof? It's not even raining. That's how crappy the studio is. <laughs> It doesn't even have to rain for the leaks to... Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Uh, this is from uh, Syrian in Stuttgart, in Germany. Oh, ever been to Germany? I have. Really? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Um, okay. <laughs> Which part of Germany were you in? I've been to Hamburg and mm. to Berlin. Oh, Berlin. I've yeah. never been there. I expect that's very nice, very kind of erotic. It's, uh, it's... <laughs> the Germans are very, um... Yeah. The Germans are very... Come on, you're amongst friends. <laughs> no, they're just a little gruff. Like, they, their language always sounds like they're arguing with you. Like, I just, I felt very nervous there. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but they have a red light district in Hamburg, which yeah. is the finest red light district in the world. So CBS Cares. <laughs> well, that's uh, very open of you to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Syrian and Stuttgart German. I'll read it in a German accent. Do it. All right, then. <laughs> Dear Craig, <laughs> I want to get a Luck and Booth tattoo, but my friends keep mocking me because they say it's cheesy. What do you think? Here is the design right here. Is this a cheesy design for a tattoo? Well, I've already offended the whole country of Germany, so you yeah. take it. Well, I, it, no, uh, do you, no, do you think that's a cheesy tattoo it's design? It's a dumb tattoo. Well, if you're a queen... Well, it's, you know, I, it's a royal... Why is that design, it's, anyway? It looks like a... Luckin' Booth, he says. Uh, there, there, Luckin' Booth. Luckin' Booth, it's kind of... royal. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I would get... You know. Do you get any tattoos? I do. What'd you got? I have a little fin-footed Chinese dragon that I got when I was drunk when I was 18 years old right here. Mm -hmm. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Only four people have ever seen it. Only though. four people have ever seen it? Yes. <laughs> it's depressing. <laughs> You're proper little Miley Cyrus, aren't you? <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is from Ryan in Maples in Maine. All right. All right. Naples in Maine. All right. Even better. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, dear Craig and uh, DJ, you probably they forgot. Uh, I've been I've been illegally downloading music for years, but have recently felt guilty about it. Should I do something about it? What do you think? Um. I've illegally downloaded music. No, you have, have you? not. I have. <laughs> I have. Really? Well, I just figure that people, like, before my movies are ever out, you can buy them downtown for, like, $2. So I feel like... Wait, wait, it's... wait, 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 wait. Let's look at the business model here. Okay. Okay, the movie that you're in. Uh -huh. Paid for this movie as an actor, right? Right. You turn up, they pay you, you leave. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't get paid either if they sell it then or later. No, no, no. You do get oh. you do get money if it does well. So if someone robs from you, it's okay for you to rob from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> No, it's I, bad. I, 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 don't do it. It's bad. I don't bad. mean to harsh you there. I'm sorry. I no. was harshing you. I was oppressing you, man. I'm sorry. I was kidding. I don't do it. I, I know. I do. I do. <laughs> you're, you're a good kid. Only, only four people have seen your tattoo, for goodness <laughs> sakes. And two of them are my parents. <laughs> We're very close. Yeah. <laughs> This is from Alexis in Peru in Indiana. Dear Craig and DJ, my 21st birthday is next week and I'm going bar crawling. Who should I trust to get me back to my hotel room when I am drunk? My girl best friend or my guy best friend? Is it a girl or a guy? Uh, Alexis, I'm saying it's a, it's a girl. Uh, it's a hard, that's a hard advice to give. Try it. Well, what what outcome do you want to have on your? Well, I think what she's birthday? saying is that she wants to get back un, you know, un molested. Yes. <laughs> well, then you should go with the girl. Hey, what's to say that the girl doesn't? Although a lot of yeah, see, you know, I mean, you know, open up, man, open up, exactly. expand your horizons. Um, I'd say take them both home. <laughs> CBS cares. 
It's your 21st birthday. 21st birthday. Now nah, you'll be all right. You should regret that the rest you of your life. Sake. You'll be all right. And maybe you wouldn't. You, maybe you'd like to just not drink yourself into a stupor. Just maybe you know have one or two drinks and be civilized. But. <laughs> 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 I'm such a tutsi frutzi. Uh, there's two for you right there. There's two. Oh, you said you were going to stop cursing. Yeah, right? I was going to stop cursing, then I forgot. I made a promise that cause every time I come on the show, I talk about masturbation, that I was not going to do it this time. <laughs> not masturbating. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about masturbation. You gonna, you're not going to talk about masturbation? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Is it, uh, is it something that you, you feel uncomfortable about? No, but every, I, I was watching um, some episodes the other night, and I was like, I talk about masturbation every time I'm on this show. <laughs> There's something about you no, that makes me think about masturbation. No. <laughs> I, I have got to be honest with you. I feel, exa I feel uh, you know, I sometimes find myself talking about stuff I don't want to talk about, and right. I just find myself talking about it. And imagine, I'm here every night. Can you know. imagine? <laughs> You know, sometimes I see stuff and I'm like, oh, who have I upset? No, it's, it's crazy, you know. I mean, I, I, I understand. So you masturbate a lot? I... <laughs> <laughs> um, a fair amount. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, uh, we're, just, uh, we're out of time. We'll just do one more, all right? All right, yeah, one more. This is very quickly. Uh, um... Uh, okay, uh, this is from El El Elena in Providence in Rhode Island. Ever been there? I haven't. Okay, then. Heard uh, good things about it. Oh, yeah, it's a great place. Uh, <laughs> Elena says, hey, hi, Craig is it, and DJ. Is it asking too much for guys to know how to dance? Nothing fancy, just basic steps and dip. And dip? <laughs> See what happened? I tried to throw it away and it came back to me almost like a dance. <laughs> it was it wants you to answer it. Well, I don't know. Can you dance? I and by dance, dance, I mean masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Craig. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know why. The, the, the whole segment just kind of got away from me. Uh, no, this was a, I think this is our best one yet. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I just, uh, you know, I'm just kind of worried that, you know, I talk about the same things over and over again. And then I uh, figure, uh oh, it's free. <laughs> I was just thinking that you guys didn't pay to get in here, right? <laughs> Who cares? I'm the one walking away with a wet ass. Hot damn. <laughs> CBS Kids. We were right back. You, get, you got this one or you want me to do it? Go ahead. Six shots, one hole. Oh, yeah. Please welcome DJ Qualls, everybody. DJ. you wearing a hat. Yeah, well, I lost all my hair care products when I lost my luggage recently, so well, I had Well, coming to. back from New Orleans, you yes. lost luggage? Yeah, I left it at the gate. I left my carry-on. Well, that's not losing it. That's just leaving it behind. <laughs> I, did. I don't have it anymore. You, you, you had your hair care products in your carry-on? You can't yeah, do that. You're not allowed to take them on the plane. I know. <laughs> well, well, you can because I put it in a little three-ounce container. But I had um, I went there for press for a few days, and I had a really bad toothache for like four days. And... Um, I uh, was in such pain that I left it. I just left it. Really? I, yeah. You didn't take any medication for your toothache? I, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, uh, I had a bunch of Bloody Marys. That really helped. Yeah, recommend, recommended by your dentist, <laughs> exactly. no doubt. <laughs> But I have, you had, have you had it done yet? Have you had it yeah, I had it uh, two days ago. I had the root canal, and I, I, I was brutal. Don't really? do it. Well, you have to do it. Yeah, you otherwise, have to. Yeah. Um, but I went in, and uh, the dentist told me that my tooth had died. And I was like, that's so white trash to be walking around with a dead tooth. And I'm from the South. It's terribly it's sad. sad. I, I, I know. 
I mourned. Yeah. Um, but then the first thing that I remembered, like I had a flashback, and I remembered they f used to feed us squirrels growing up. Because I'm so like protective of the South, and like you know anything that's an anti the South, it makes me look like white trash. And the dead tooth brought back this memory, and I was like. Those uh -oh. fed us squirrels. <laughs> and I remembered, I remembered like as a little boy having a string that had a bunch of squirrels tails on it that I would like whip around and like play with and I never really thought where they came from. <laughs> and now I remember we ate them. <laughs> That's a bit of a cliche you got going on there, buddy. And snakes. I snakes? remember eating, like all the stuff started pouring out because of my dead tooth. Like I started, all this stuff that I blocked started coming back. And then I thought, maybe I should get therapy because who knows what I'm hiding. You should get therapy, yeah, yeah. Do you want to start now? I'll start you off. <laughs> no. I can offer you therapy for years. I can start you off. I got one. Two million people to see what's going on. Oh, here. they don't care. <laughs> they they they'll be supportive. Well, I was actually talking to your producer, and she was asking me childhood stories, and and a lot of things I can't remember. And she was like, "Well, do you remember like the Tooth Fairy?" And I got this really scary feeling about the Tooth Fairy, and I'm like, "I don't want to go to therapy now." Wow. It's like show Maybe us on the no, doll where the Tooth Fairy touched you. No, it's you. the Silence of the Lambs Tooth Fairy. You're thinking about. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Lotion in the bus. Oh, the guy with the... Yes, that was the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Silence in the Lambs, wasn't he? He was like... Oh, no, no. oh no, that was, that was Buffalo Bill. It was Bill. Right, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, the Tooth Fairy's the movie with The Rock. <laughs> 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 you see that movie? Oh, oh man. No. Yeah. If he was here, I'd say I loved it, but man. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing otherwise? I follow you on the Tweety. You seem to be doing all right. You were complaining about something the other day. What was it? There's oh, something... yeah. Some mean lady in Oregon wrote something terrible about me. What, a journalist? Yeah, she wrote, like, she was praising the show, and then she said, if you've ever wondered where DJ Qualls is, and no one in the history of the world has ever asked that question, he's on this. Wow. I don't know why. What? Uh, what's that coming to go? Bitch. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that one to me? I can't bitch. remember. <laughs> This is my very favorite place. Really? It really is. You like going and hanging around in basements and I do. Uh, <laughs> Here in Disney skeletons World. and uh, creepy middle-aged guys. When I win the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> when I win the lottery, I'm not going to say I'm going to Disneyland. I'm saying I'm coming here. Wait. All right. <laughs> really? You're gonna you're gonna come. if you win the lottery seriously, you would come here. No. Crikey. No, I'd never see you again. <laughs> yeah. That's right. See. Now I feel we're getting to some honesty moves. <laughs> now we're getting to someone. I think you should go into therapy. I've been to therapy for years. It really helps. It really does. It really helps. I used to think it would not make me funny, and then I realized I didn't get rocky anymore. <laughs> Aren't you scared about uncovering a bunch of stuff, though, that you maybe have forgotten? I'm no, because I don't that. think you really ever forget it. I think you suppress it. Yeah, but still, it's not currently in my mind. Yes, it is in your mind. It is in your mind. It's just manifesting itself in a different way. For example, you know, you're like, your feelings were hurt by some stupid woman in Oregon. Like, you, you don't care about that. But something is going to spark you every time. Things are going to come at you like that. Someone's going to cut you off in the freeway, and you're going to have an inappropriate reaction. Because it's not that you're worried about. It's your childhood. <laughs> oh, no. So, still your favorite show to be on? <laughs> no, I think it's okay to uncover things about your life you're worried about. It's all right, man. Speaking of uncovering things about my life. Yeah. Okay. So remember the last time I was on the show, we talked about this tattoo that I have. I have a tattoo yeah. that's in a place where I have to disrobe kind of to show it, right? That's and, the best kind I have. Yeah. And I made a joke that only a few people had ever seen it. Like, I had not had a lot of sex, right? And clearly, I've had a lot of sex, right? All right I know. And so, I can tell that by your hat. <laughs> and this is a sexy hat. That's it what gets I'm me saying. All the time. No, that a confident sexual man will put a hat on and is like, I'm wearing a hat. Exactly. I know it's inside. I know it's uh, a talk show. I don't care. Exactly. I'm wearing a hat. Right. So, and I get laid a lot. So people ask me all the time now, because apparently a lot of people watch this show. I don't know if you know this, but... I'm in denial about it. Hundreds of people watch this show a night. Right. And so um, I, was in a, I was at a cafe in New Orleans, and it's, like probably every few days somebody will come up, hey, can we see the tattoo? And I was feeling, I was lonely, like I was eating by myself. And, you know, a lot of times, like when you get any sort of recognition, like being famous or whatever, like it's kind of embarrassing. And yes. sometimes you really like it. Like sometimes it makes you feel good. And so I was sort of feeling my oats a little bit and like they were like let's show us a tattoo and I walked over and I don't know why I did this but I only have to pull my pants down like about an inch for you to see it and I just pulled my pants down to, to below my underwear line <laughs> and my penis was sticking out of my boxers <laughs> I wanted to die 
Now, this next question is going to seem odd, but I want you to, I want you to stay with me, right? It's big. That's what I thought. Yes. That's what but I thought. here's the problem, though. You know how when you introduce that part of yourself to a new person or a group of people, um, uh, you don't know... You Dude, don't... you are much sexier than I thought you were. You don't know what personality it's going to have. Sometimes it's shy. And oh, yeah, I see where you're going. You know, it's yeah, not yeah. there. But sometimes it's like, hey. Yeah. You know, this is my neighborhood. Well, yeah, it's like, what's up, baby? Yeah. Yeah. And thank God it was in a happy place. Well, oh, not right. in a happy place, but in yeah, a... Yeah, but in a sort of... Yeah, in a, like, semi-happy right, it was in a place. relaxed spot. Really it sort was of, hot outside. Yeah. But it was the sort of thing where, like, in your mind, it's like, okay, I've just exposed myself to people. How do I play this off? I don't want to appear embarrassed. And clearly, they know I didn't mean to do it. So I sat there with my pants down for probably three minutes, <laughs> trying to decide what to do. And finally, I just went, well, <laughs> that was the show, and just walked off. <laughs> And I never told anybody this in New Orleans. The only people that know it are the casino workers who saw it, and I'm sure all their friends. Now, are you sure you don't want to go into therapy? I know, I know. But see, the reason why I chose to tell this story on the show is because I, cause I'm embarrassed by it when I'm by myself. Like, I get that, like, prickly hot exactly, exactly sweat. Exactly that, mean, yeah. yeah, where I wish I could change the channel on myself. It's like when you watch, like, America's Got Talent or any of those shows. And yeah, somebody does something about like, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't do that on yourself. I can, I can if I watch me on TV. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> So I thought maybe if I acknowledged it, I would no longer be embarrassed about There's it. There's nothing wrong with admitting vulnerability and doing something a little odd and out of character. I don't know any human being who's worth talking to who won't admit to that. I think that people who always say that they're always fine and everything's great and they never have any problem and they completely believe in everything and they never question themselves, I think they're <laughs> crazy. I, agree I look with forward you. to your letter. <laughs> I look forward to your confident <laughs> self aggrandizing letters. <laughs> There, I said it. We're out of time. Uh, Mouth Are we really? Glittery ball or awkward pause? Uh, you don't or have, show me your penis. You don't have... I'll do that. I've done it before. No, don't do um, it. You don't have mouth organ anymore? Yeah, I got mouth organ. I got mouth You've organ. never mouth organed me. And I really <laughs> would like to be mouth organed. Well, first of all, you're going to need one of these. Okay. And a mint. Uh, <laughs> Can you... Well, I got it, and you got it, Michael. That's somebody. <laughs> all right. How do you work it? Yeah, I just suck and blow. Can you play? No. You'd be spending all this time down in New Orleans and you haven't learned how to play the, uh, the old uh, mouth box? No. You do it. Do something awesome. Close. <laughs> Never had a Big lesson. Balls, everybody. <laughs> Please welcome DJ Qualls, everybody. DJ. DJ, how are you? I'm all, you know, I'm all right. I'm all right. I, how are you doing? Are you doing all right? I'm a little under the weather. You know, I'm a little under the weather. That's why it was good to do that little thing that yeah. we that little. They call that the Howie Mandel. Really? Yeah, you know, know, you don't touch each other. Because how he's real <laughs> he German. Yeah, 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 he does. I did a commercial with him years ago, and I was, that's the one thing I was told don't touch his hands. Did you touch him? Yeah, I, yeah of course I did. did you know, <laughs> I, had to, and I just touched the back of it. No, I, when he was here, I pretended that I was coming down with the flu. <laughs> Freaking out, and I was like, "It's a joke, Howie." And he's like, "It's not funny." I'm like, "Okay." <coughs> <laughs> he's mad. I slept with my windows open last night, thinking, oh, it doesn't rain in LA." Hey, you gotta be careful, vampires, man. I know. I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about that guy? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be the guy that says, oh, vampires don't exist. Ah. That's like, you know, when they, in the old movies, uh, when they would say, oh, what time is it? It's 15 minutes to sundown. Well, we've still got time to go to Dracula's <laughs> castle. Come on. 
You'd be that guy. I'd be like, no, let's wait till the morning. Then we get the whole day of sunlight. Like, oh, come on, let's just go now. I'd be dead. Yeah, you'd be you'd be a slave to the vampires by now. Hey, listen, I was following you on the Tweety. Yeah. About, uh, this must be a couple of months ago, I guess. Yeah. And you got <laughs> beat up by a cop in uh, Vancouver. Or I did. I got beaten up by a cop in Vancouver. Actually, I call this my police brutality beard because I can't shave. Because every time I shave here, it cuts my scar. What? I know. The hey, hey, don't do that. <laughs> what the hell? No, he's not. Can I have like kitten? <laughs> So anyway, the, I guess this cop saw me and decided that I look like, I look dangerous. <laughs> you know I love and, you, man, and, but you're, you're about as dangerous as a jigsaw. <laughs> and a threat to public safety, so he beat the hell out of me. Wow. I know, it was awful. Yeah, that, that's, that's really bad, didn't you? Uh, it's a good talk show story. But no, it's <laughs> not. I mean, th w w w w did they apologize? Uh, we're, we're working that out. Like, I hate, I have to now be the person who says things like, I can't comment on that because it's currently under investigation. Like, I'm now that dude. When really, <laughs> the, the, the bare bones of it, I was not doing anything. The cop, I'm small, the cop wanted to beat up somebody he could take. And there were a lot of people he could take on the street, but yeah. he, he decided to take You know what surprises me about this is it takes place in Canada. I know. It was just so civilized. I, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did the, would, did the cop have a hockey stick in his hand? Because when Canadians... When you give a Canadian a hockey stick, it, it, all the rules change. You know no, that, right? No, the Canadian people are very docile. Passive aggressively so, and I'm not. <laughs> um, no, I love Canadians, except their bacon. Um, which is hey, not wait, bacon. Whoa, whoa. I like Canadian bacon. No, you I mean, don't. I'm sorry that the you police. You can't. Force... Well, I don't like. Oh, you're talking about the, ca the, the cops? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, were you talking about the cops? No. Were you doing that whole bacon thing for cops? <laughs> no, we just went to. I'm sick. Uh, <laughs> me too, a little bit. I'm kind of overcompensating and being too needy tonight. Uh, the robot's doing a better job. Yeah, he's, he's on fire. It's, he sounds different tonight. Yeah, he does that from time to time. I don't know what it is. What yeah, you... it's no wonder you get your ass kicked. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can take you. You look like me with skin. <laughs> Man, that, that's just rude, you know? I mean, that's rude, Jeff. I'll take you out, Quills. Hey, hey! Let it go, man. Walk over here. No, you... Wait, wait, wait. You know the thing is? You remember, you were talking to the robot that got beat up by Russell Brand. Now, uh, I love uh, Russell, but getting beat up by Russell Brand's like being beat up by a member of the royal family. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Easy killer. I'm not here. Mm. <laughs> So, uh, so you're you're suing them then? No, I'm not suing them. I'm. I just want an apology, and I don't. Want, I mean, because the money's coming out of the taxpayers' pockets. So you don't want to sue the, no, I don't the want, Canadian tax? No, I don't want. I don't want anything. What about? Uh, you want to get some uh, troops up there? No. Well, um, maybe, well maybe no. Maybe we should send some troops up no, there. And uh, some troops. I thought he said a trip. <laughs> you want to? You want to take a little trip? Take a take a drink out of mug. <laughs> You go on a little journey. I really just picture yourself <laughs> in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Uh, <laughs> you seem like you feel fine. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Do you ever take any hallucinogens ever? No, I was never just did? talking about that backstage. Well, see, right there. See, that's 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 a uh, coincidence, right? Except there's no such thing. I'm a Jungian. <laughs> I'm an actor. You have to explain things to me. Well, you know, Jung, Freud, the, you know, the, Freud was... Oh, there are no accidents type of... Right, 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 right. Oh, is that what you said? Kind of. Cause yeah. <laughs> it's a little more complicated than that, but you know, that kind of thing's for cable. Right. We're, uh, you know, we're on... Well, I, I got some... A couple of my friends, I guess... I don't know if you can say somebody did mushrooms on TV, but that happened. I, I, I believe that's okay to say that, yeah. Um, so they were doing them, and... What you can't do is say, I got Amba! That's oh, yeah. right. <laughs> You can't say, oh, somebody took mushrooms, you know. That, that would be, you couldn't say that. <laughs> so, they did mushrooms, and it, I saw, like, some video of it, and it just scared the hell out of me. You, you, you saw a videotape of somebody else taking a hallucinogen, yeah. and it frightened you? Yeah. Do you, do 
you watch a lot of videos of other people tripping? No, I'd never seen it before, and I was, you know, I'm, I'm open to a lot of things. Um, I want to try most things in life that <laughs> seem kind of safe, because, I, I, you know, I'm an actor, and I like to think that I would need that experience one day for a character. And, hey, and Jeff, so I think you want to uh, change your tack with this dude completely. Yeah, you want me to give you a good lick? <laughs> And so I'm curious about it, but I'm just afraid of all the stuff it would have No, no, you know, you know, I, you know what, i got to be honest with you, I did it, and I wish I hadn't. Is it terrible? It's awful. Awful. See, I, need See, to I joke that. about it, but it's, I, it's, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I mean, I'd rather have a sore back and a bit of a lurgy disease. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> I think you're halfway there already. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, we're out of time, so what do you want? Uh... Awkward pause, or mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Oh, big cash prize. Oh, big cash prize. <laughs> what time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. All right, here, there are two ways to win the big cash prize, DJ. There's a 50 American dollars in singles acceptable at any strip club in the U.S. Awesome. Not Canada. Um, okay. <laughs> two ways to win. You can either answer one question, or you can guess what's in my box. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what is in my box? I imagine a box in my head. I imagine something in that box, but I don't know what it is. The only person who knows what's in the box is Jeff Peterson. If you guess right and Jeff says, yes, you've guessed it right, you get the $50. If you guess wrong, we kill you. <laughs> wow, those are high stakes for $50. Mm. The economy is terrible. Um, I, will go, I will do a question. A question? Yeah. All right. Make it a, a good one. Make it a good one? Well, an easy one. I want $50. Yeah, you, you want $50, you're going to have to answer a difficult question. Okay. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Which of these founding fathers became a vegetarian at age 16 in order to save money? <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, or John Adams? Who enjoyed sausages, so it wasn't him, clearly. No. Do you know, maybe it's, uh, it's uh, Ben Franklin, didn't he? It's say Benjamin Franklin! He got it right! Penny save, Penny Aaron! Penny save, Penny Aaron! 50 American dollars! <laughs> My first guest tonight is a terrific actor. He's a good friend of the show. He's delightful. He smells just lovely. He does. He smells a little bit like... What does he smell like, Jeff? Uh, he smells like hemlock. Hemlock, a little hemlock. <laughs> this is the lovely DJ Qualls, everybody. DJ Qualls. Great. Thank you. you look, I mean, you look really great. You look really kind of like a, like a, a sailor or something like that. You know, kind of... I feel like a college professor. Well... Named Tad. That's what I'm going that for. That was the other thing. Yeah. I thought you looked a bit like a college professor named Tad. You look great. You look kind of... Has he been working I, out or something? I gained 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Yes. How, how did, what's your secret? I went to a barbecue <laughs> festival in um, Alabama. That'll do And it, yeah. I, was, I, I ate pork butt for, all, like, all weekend. <laughs> The best butt I ever had. It was amazing. <laughs> but it was good. Oh, what am I meant to do with this? I'm, I don't I'm trying to do a clean show here. I know. No, I heard. I heard. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, the oh, by the way, I'm so sorry you're here on the night when we forgot to do the jingle. I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I gained uh, 15 pounds, and I just got back from vacation, and I brought you some gifts. Where were you? Where were you? Did you bring I, me something nice? I, yes, Hawaii? I did. No, I went to England. England? Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's the Queen's... Um, What's it? Uh, uh, Diamond is, Jubilee. Is it Diamond Jubilee? Yeah, Diamond Jubilee. Oh, right, 50 okay. years on the throne. 50 years on the throne. Make all the jokes you want. But I bought you this. Oh, that's lovely. It's Look. Oh, there she is, Her Majesty. <laughs> and it comes with a stand. I'm the queen. That costs... Oh, that's great. It's got its own stand. Too. That's lovely. And it Can was... I use it for, for food? No, because on the back of it, there was a sticker that says, if, basically, if you eat off this, call, call an ambulance. Really? <laughs> yes. But I peeled it off because nobody I'd wants... be lovely if I was eating my eggs in, in the morning, and then and suddenly, have a great well, day! I, I bought a whole set of them because I thought it would be fun to have a dinner party, yeah. and I get home and see that it says, if you eat off this, call the ambulance. But I peeled the sticker off of yours because I didn't want you to be... It's just not nice to get a gift that says that. 
Yeah, 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 but it might be important to know it, though. That, that's what I'm telling you. All right, okay, fair enough. Okay. I'll, so, I'll, put, it, I'll put it up here next to my disco ball. Awesome. Uh, and I got this for uh, Jeff. Ooh, oh, a policeman's helmet. A bobby hat. Oh, a little a bobby hat. Well, uh, on you go, then. Uh, Jeff, do you, you want to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> They only, I bought one for myself, and they only come in children's sizes. And you want to try it on? Yeah, it actually fits me. <laughs> I bought it for some. Whoa, actually, don't talk to me when you're wearing that. It freaks me out. <laughs> I bought it for some um, some role play, and I some thought, role play. Yeah. You so, dress up as a cop? With why the... not? Really? Yes. An English cop? Why not? And you and like hang out with other dudes and stuff? <laughs> of course. I thought that's what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. And and uh, Jeff's going. Well, I'll, hang on, wait there. I'll, I'll be right back. Can it fit uh, him? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it'll fit him. I'm fine. Just stick that over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <that's> <laughs> So I'm, you were in London, you had a nice time then, didn't you? I, I'm jet lagged as hell. This is jet lagged. Yeah, yeah. it's it's awful. I was laying. Do you know what's good for that? What? Uh, whiskey. Yeah, but I've I've actually stopped drinking recently. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I mean, not I, every so often I, I stop drinking just to see if I get the shakes, and if I don't, I'm good. <laughs> I just, I like drinking too you much. You realize that's not normal, right? Uh, of course it is. No, no, it's, dude, that's not normal. I, 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 I'm an abnormal drinker. Let me assure you that stopping drinking to make sure that you don't get the shakes, that's not what normal drinkers do. <laughs> I'm going to stop drinking for a while to see if I, you know, experience the delirium <laughs> tremens. And if I don't, then there's no problem. Well, it's working for me. Well, fair enough then. God bless you. <laughs> Uh, well, that's good. Uh, did you stop drinking while you were in England? No. Uh, I stopped. Yeah. I've been back two days. Did you have a nice time, at least? Did you enjoy um, it? I did. Um, I want to talk to you about urinals, about English urinals. <laughs> just, just humor me for a second. All right. Um, do you realize, in, see, in America, when you go to the bathroom, as you know, because you've been here I've a been long time. I've, yeah, been here, exactly. I've been here 17 years, and I've gone more than once. <laughs> So the urinals have a natural shelf for privacy when you go in, sure, you know what I mean? Sure, privacy like, yeah. area, yeah. In England, they're just bowls. And they have privacy barriers, but they stop right just below your testicles. And, and they go to the floor. So, it, so basically, you don't see the bottom of the other person's urinal, but you see the other person... Like, while they're peeing. And really nice places have spotlights above you. So it's a penis display. So you're... <laughs> so... You're, so I just went there to meet a bunch of fans. I'm on this show Supernatural, and I'm on it every now and then. And, and so I went to meet a bunch of fans. And so these guys like follow you around with like earpieces and like these suits and everything. But they can't. Are they fans or security? No, they're security. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so they follow they follow you to the bathroom, but they don't come inside. So two guys came in and flanked me on either side. So like I was at at the urinal, and basically it's there, and I could see theirs, and I could see mine, and so I couldn't go. So, and they both start going, and whoa, I'm like... Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, I know. So you can't go when you see somebody else going? Once? No, I get pee shy. And it starts, I can feel, I can feel it start to retract into my body. Like while they're standing on either, while, while they're standing on either side of me. And so they both are going, and I'm like, I'm a pervert now. I'm here with my, my new favorite word is Todger, by the way. It's Tadger. Tadger? Tadger. Tadger. Oh, so, Tadger, you could say Tadger. Tadger's as well. better. Uh, um, how about this? Um, is this Scottish? I'm so hungry I can eat a cow. <laughs> is, that, is that Scottish? Sounds a little bit Pakistani to me. <laughs> right? But they would, uh, very few of them would eat a cow, so I guess it would be Scottish. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I'm standing there and I'm getting really uncomfortable. Well, one guy zips up and see, I, you don't want to say to people. Are we still uh, on the PVC? Yeah, 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 I'm almost done. You don't want to say to people, like, get the hell out of here or whatever, because they could just be peeing. Well, one of the guys zips up and leaves, and the other guy just stands back and just starts talking to me. Well, is it still going? It won't go. No, no, is it? So he no, knows when he stands back like that, is, is his still going? No, no. All right. Because <laughs> if he's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. That would be a pretty impressive guy. Now that, now that would be Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't remember where the story was going. Well, it was going to the men's uh, bathroom. Which yeah, is a shame. I know. Uh, well, recently in the shower, I had an epiphany that I don't care about anything anymore. Like anything, like I don't get anxiety. I feel handsome now. Like I just, I feel like much more relaxed. So if I tell a story that bombs on this show, bug it. <laughs> 
Hey, that's my thing, man. That's my whole, <laughs> that's my whole thing. I learned doing. it from you. you no, know, you're doing my whole thing. I just realized <laughs> you're doing my whole thing. Well, that's my whole thing. I, I don't care about things. And if I and if I don't do well on the show, Crockett. that's my thing. <laughs> you you have to come yeah. here and bring some show business energy, some youthful spunk. But it's your show. <laughs> I'm a guest. So I feel like I can come on here and just bomb and do whatever I want, and you have to save the day. <laughs> How's it going, by the way? If, no, he has to. I don't have to save the day. But you always do. Not this time, buddy. <laughs> so, you look nice. <laughs> don't really have the nerve to bomb after all, do you? <laughs> I don't. Ah, you're too nice. We, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back with DJ Quas. <laughs> thought was charming is no longer charming now. Yeah, I know, I hear it's, you. It's inconvenient. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with DJ Qualls. Uh, I talked to him, and he's very sorry. About what? I don't know, just making crap up. Okay. It's what I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out of time. Do you want to, uh, you want to have an awkward pause, a mouth organ, uh, or uh, you want to... Uh... I like my mouth organ. Well, hold on. Um, <laughs> you can go for the big cash prize, or you oh! can, or, or you can do the new one. You can... Touch the queen's face. <laughs> uh, I'll go for the cash because I won last time. Give me the cash. <laughs> Let me do my thing. Okay. What time is it, John of David? Time for the big cash prize. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Uh, okay. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Oh, he's got his helmet on. Nice. <laughs> well, no, I... Good on you. Little Tedger. <laughs> <Little tedger. laughs> it's, it's nice, Jeff. Very nice. So what do you want to go over? The, the box or the question? Mm, I'll go for your box. Okay. <laughs> I'm imagining a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff, do you have the box? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I guess what's in the box? Yeah. A badger. <laughs> a badger? A tadger? A badger or a tadger? Make up your mind. Um... They're very different, of course. A badger is a small furry creature that goes through the undergrowth and uh, makes little burrows. And the other one is another one. Then, well, it clearly is not a badger because of the way you responded to it. So I'm going to say, um, a tadger. Jeff, what's in my box? We would have also accepted pork butt. <laughs> but it is a tadger. Tadger is DJ Cole for the American Dog. Please state your name for the folks at home. I'm DJ Qualls. Ah, DJ Qualls. Why are you here? Is it because The Last Twilight's coming out this week? It is. Oh, man. I love Twilight so much. I do, too. Having never seen it, I'm really sad that it's the last one. I'm really sad, too. No, I am sad. I am sad. I thought you, it would have been better if you were in it, though. Me, too. I look like a vampire. A little bit. I think I do. Well, the thing about vampires is, and I, and I hate to be mean, I know you don't. No, I don't. I, can, <laughs> I kind of enjoy it. But, the, but vampires are kind of, they're very, very cool. And sometimes when you spill a drink on your pants, that's not that cool. Right, 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 right. But you are cool. I'm definitely cool. You're very cool. Look, you got a, you're thin, you've got skinny leg suits, you've got the, the Converse high tops or low? They're uh, low tops. I bought this off a mannequin at H&M today. I'm the right size. <laughs> I'm mannequin size. I didn't know until today. So you can get uh, models exactly like you that are inanimate? Exactly. <laughs> Wait. Is that a, that's a creepy thing, that really. That is kind of creepy. Yeah. So what else? Not much, really. I've got to do the show tonight. Do I get a mug and a t-shirt for this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, from Lano, sure. <laughs> I don't want one from Leno. Oh, come on. Leno's great. Yeah, Leno's great. He is great. I he's like great. him. 
He's, you know what he's got? He's got a uh, car collection. You want to get a car collection? I do. Yeah, how many cars have you got? I have one. I have a That's pathetic! I know, right? I have a 10 year old car. 10 year old car? It's 40,000 miles on it, though. I can't get rid of it. What kind of car is it? Don't say the brand, just say the type of car it is. It's a German car. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> This car, is it three letters or is it sort of <laughs> the name of maybe some hipster daughter? Hipster daughter car. Hipster daughter, so yes. it is. Oh, uh, yes, uh, hands this over here to me, will you please? <laughs> there you are. This is the t-shirt from Thank the show. You. Here's Why do you guys always do this? Have you met me? <laughs> I get the same size t-shirt every time I come here. And it always looks like that. The mug, I have like 14 of them. I love yeah. it. Yeah. But this is unacceptable. We're friends. You know me. Yeah, but you look cute when you sleep in it. <laughs> We're right back, you everybody. Know. DJ Qualls, everybody. DJ Qualls. Before. What's that? You got the standing O? Standing O from the crowd. The people love you, man. The people have spoken. America adores you, DJ. They did that for Don Cheadle, too, didn't they? Well, they did it for Don Cheadle, too, but he's a <laughs> Golden you. Globe winner. I know, he's a serious a, there actor. There is no higher honor in show business. I know, I know. I want one, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? No, not really. No, well, actually, on. yeah, uh, I'd like somebody to give me anything for acting. <laughs> for acting? All right. <laughs> For your services to acting, I'd like to give you this completely worthless artifact about as the same value as a Golden Globe. <laughs> you got, you got award for acting. I thought you were a proper actor. It doesn't matter. It's not a competition. It's not a race. Yes, it is. Is it? Of course, it, everything's a competition in a race. No! No, man, no, it can't be. There has to be art. It can't yeah, it all be okay, sport. It is art. This show actually is the first time I ever feel like I'm doing art. Even though I'm, you know. What, this particular show, right? No, not this show. Oh, not this show. <laughs> no, the legit. Oh, legit? Yeah. That's, that's real art? Yeah, well, I feel like I'm able to really just be free as an actor for the first time. I know it's all boring stuff, but it means something to me. No, I, I, yeah. it's absolutely... Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, no, it's great. I'm glad that you're free as an actor. Why, were you constricted as an actor before? No, I just, uh, you know, it's an evolution of a career. Like, I started out like kind of like a clown with a heart of gold, and now I, I think I'm becoming a serious actor. I think you should play more evil roles. I want to. Yeah, I think you'd be very good as uh, the... Uh, <laughs> The evil guy. Yeah, I want to be the... <laughs> you should pitch that to somebody. Yeah, I'm pitching it, right? I'm pitching it to you. <laughs> what laughed, about, like... And be laughed out of the... No, room. man, think, think, think. They go, you, I mean, you look friendly, right? I do. So that's good. Evil guys like to look I was friendly. Voted, I was voted friendliest in my high school class. What did you do? I was the only one who didn't carry a gun. I grew up in the South. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. You like it? It's it looks really oh, you've good. Been here, haven't you? I was here, but I was up there. I, I did oh, you didn't flight. travel to over here well, where the real business is I going only have, on. I only work with one contact in, so I can't really see. That's interesting. Yeah. When you're acting. Do you wear no? You don't wear your contact lenses. No. Mm -mm. I, I like wear contact seat. lenses, and I don't wear them when I do this show. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't want to see what's yeah, I don't going see, on. I don't want to see what that looks like out there. I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see the disappointment close up yeah. of people's faces. <laughs> I don't want attempted to read stuff if they put it up on the camera, see? like stop cussing and all that. I'm like, ah, I don't yeah. want to see it. I'm right with you. Yeah, it's but funny you, that. You did a good job, and I noticed that my queen plate is up. And yeah, yeah, you brought it for Her Majesty's 60th yeah. Jubilee. Yeah, I was we, so happy. when That is the one thing I saw it in my good eye, because I wear a right contact, and I looked over and saw that it was up, and it really kind of caught me, dude. Oh, it was. It made me feel like we're friends. See, we I, are friends. No, we are friends. But I have, this, I have this thing with relationships. Like, I get attached to people really easily, so, like, I... <laughs> so, I think that people like me more than they do like me, so I'll see somebody that I work with at a party, and I'm like, dude, it's so good to see you, and start hugging them, and they're like, hey, man. No. And I'm like, and I'm like but we're best friends. And like, so, I get that a lot. So you, that stalk, really... you stalk people on the internet? No, I don't. Yeah, a little bit, a maybe. A little bit, yeah. yeah. 
But that really made me happy. Yeah, no, it was a lovely gift. You went to London, you brought back a commemorative plate of her And it was the expensive one, and it was the safe one to eat off of. It wasn't the lead-based one. That's, see, that's what makes all the difference. Although I couldn't, I wouldn't feel right eating uh, off food off of Her Majesty's face. I, you know, like, <laughs> like, oh, this is great macaroni. <gasps> I'm so sorry! I you have disrespected <laughs> me! I can maybe get into that. Um, well, eating macaroni off people? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know I, me like I, well, that. I know you a little bit. Yeah. Are you very freaky sexually? Do you put a lot of food in it? You got a lot of food involved in your sex? I've tried everything once. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. You don't know if you don't know if you don't like something until you do it. Like that, I'm being honest. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not uh, giving you a hard time for being honest. I, I question the uh, the verisimilitude of I'm the statement. Gonna, okay, there are some things I won't do, but right. I I can't tell them on TV. But I could if I was on FX, but I can't do it. Oh, on... so now you're all Mr. Cable Network. You no, got no, no time for us? Oh, boring old your show, Craig. We can't really talk about real stuff like eating so, macaroni off the Queen. I was so worried about coming on the show because there's only two words in the English language you can cannot say on FX. So the last three months I've been saying whatever comes to Those my mind. Those words, don't, don't yeah. say them because I'm I swore not, once but no one noticed. I'm not. Dude, you swear all the time. But, you, the, but the last time I was on, you, so sorry. But I've noticed that you have you, you've cut back a lot. Yeah, I have. I've kind of cut down. It, it yeah. was uh, you know, it was getting ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it, it was really like was. all tootsie fruitsie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you gotta have some respect. Yeah, you, know you did. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's CBS. It's a yeah. Hey, what's the show the about? You better tell me. Okay, I actually have to. Cause yeah, yeah. No, I want you because to. I never talk about what I'm supposed to talk about when I'm here, and right. the producers have asked me to talk about it. Well, get going then. All right. Okay. What's it about? Okay. Yeah. The show. It's, this is hard to tell what a show is about. The show is about this guy named Jim Jeffries. He's a comedian, an, Aus an Australian comedian who's come really uh, famous in the UK. You would know if you still live there. Yeah, but I don't. I know. Okay. And so um, it's about his life and his stories. And I play Billy. I have advanced stage muscular dystrophy. I, I'm, and you find me in the pilot. I'm dying. And uh, so my one, my one thing in life is I want to lose my virginity. And so he takes me to a brothel. <clears throat> Right. In Vegas, and I get to experience that, even though they're they're ninety percent sure it's going to kill me. And uh, this is a comedy we're it talking is, it, about. Yeah. It absolutely is a comedy. It's right. really it's really funny. Really, right. although I did. It's more the dark hobnob of comedy. Right, though, right, isn't right. It really? Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of hobnob, yeah. my character. I'm right about that. You've been to Britain, though, yeah. right? My yeah. My character has a giant one, and so and it's a huge. <laughs> It's a, no, 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 that's not... Hop I know, is, Hobnob's a biscuit. Right. Um, uh, but my, that is, that was, that's the most... Like, I'm in a wheelchair, so I can only move my... Like, a couple of fingers on each hand and my neck. Um, which is hard as an actor. And, uh, it's hard anyway. But my character has, is really well endowed. And, so, and, that's a, and it's, it's not just sort of a sight gag. Um, it's... A, it's a, it's a, a through-line of the story, and it, there's a really important... Yeah, but is, I mean, where are you going to go for sweeps, man? I mean, you, like, you, you really kind of... Oh, we've got some sweep stuff coming up. Yeah, it's okay. pretty... I mean, like, th I'm most proud of this job, I think, that I've been in, like, maybe seven years or something. Like, normally, when I come... Do you know what I liked you in Breaking Bad when you did that? Oh, dude. Oh, man. I love that show. Man. I love that show so much that after I did it, I didn't want to do it again because I wanted to watch it. Because once you see behind the curtain, you don't oh, want to watch I, it see, that's, I, There are certain things, like, you know, sometimes people have said to me, hey, come and, you know, I yeah. love Mythbusters, so you come and be on Mythbusters. Yeah. I'm like, but no, it I don't want to be on it. I want to yeah. watch it. I you feel know, the like, same thing about Downton Abbey. I love Downton yeah, Abbey so First much. season, yeah. And, uh, the, the, you can't get into it? Well, no, I, I, like, I loved the first season. I was crazy for it. And then by season three, I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah. That's because you don't drink anymore. Dude, I didn't drink on season one. I don't see the. I don't but see, see the correlation. Drinking makes it better. Like you don't really care that. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> you don't really care that it's not as good. And Shirley MacLaine, I didn't really like. Is that, that a good show. thing? Like you, you like. Quality control goes out the window. That's a good thing. This is. The I hope it works for my show premiering tomorrow night. Yeah, come on, it'll be fine. <laughs> Listen, we gotta go. Uh, can I offer you anything? Uh, what about, a, money? What about a, a, a nice towel? A monogrammed towel. Oh, I'll take one of those. Is that a tea towel? Yeah, yeah, but it's not monogrammed yet. I'll just monogram it for you. <laughs> what, what do you want it's on nice it? It's nice to see that the budgets have increased. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Right. There you go. DJ. Look at that. Now, you so wear that, nice. and the girls will come flocking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they will. I can get balls, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> It's on uh, Amazon in January. DJ Qualls, everybody. You're like confident. You're like. Dude, I feel really good. You look really good, man. Yeah, and you're in the Man in the High Castle. Yeah, they called and offered it to me. I couldn't believe That's it. That's great. Ridley Scott, he produced it. Shut the I front know. door. That's awesome. It's, it's, it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. And thank you for mentioning it. I never talk about what I'm supposed to talk about here because I'm usually embarrassed by my projects. But this one is so good. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I kind of know how you feel. I am. Um... <laughs> So listen, um, the man in the high castle. It's it's uh, it's set in a in a in a kind of a time yeah. when they they imagined that the Nazis won the war. Yeah, right? it's 1962, and the Allied forces have we, we they lost World War II. So it's what would have happened to America. Right, right. So I half know, of the country is controlled by the Nazis, and the other half is controlled by the Japanese. And Hitler is still alive. Yeah, it's pretty good. Th that would have been. I mean, you think it's bad now? Come on. I know, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it was fun to shoot, though, because we were shooting in Seattle, and we had all our, our Nazi stuff up, and people were freaked out. Yeah, people don't like that. People you know, don't it's, like Nazis. It's, it's, well, people don't like Nazis. I've noticed that. Uh, are, you a, are you a history buff? Do you study that kind of stuff at all? Uh, no, not really. I'm, I'm an art buff. and I, I Art buff? I want to talk to you about Rothko. Oh, man. Don't try and sell me. Tootsie Fruits. Oh, well, what? Say it again. It's Tootsie Fruits. Yes! 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 I don't, I, don't, I don't even care if I get letters. I went to the Tate Modern Museum years ago in London, mm -hmm. and they had, like, it was a, a bathroom shelf and, like, a, a glass of water, and the artist called it Oak Tree. And then underneath it, there was an interview. It was like, why is this Oak Tree? Because I say so. I'm like, ooh la la. Yeah. And it probably cost $8 million, and so I, I never went back there. Well, you know, it's kind of, have you seen Banksy's movie, Exit Through the Gift Shop? It's on my Netflix. You've got it. You've got to see that movie. That's great. Now, I suspect there is a conspiracy theory that Banksy and Shepard Fairey put this together, and it's all a, a hoax. Either way, if that's, if that's true, it's even better. Right. And you really must see it because it is, it, it, it slices and dices uh, the idea of, you know, street art and uh, more in the commercialization, not only of street art, but of all art. It's right. very interesting. Well, I just have a problem with a Rothko or like a Pollock. I mean, whoa, 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 easy. Well, I can say what I want. <laughs> This is a yeah, yeah, but I'm the just Nazis saying, I'm just saying, Paul, Paul, easy on Paul. Well, Paul's a just, little different. But anyway, any sort of abstract art, I have a problem with it because I just, I, I know there's skill and there's like tonal whatever. I caramba. But like, I don't understand it. Like, I bought a portrait, a 16th century portrait recently of this old lady, and I was the only person that bid on it. It is beautiful. Right. It, and this must have well, taken gonna... hours and hours. No, no, no. And no. Hours I tell you, time. I tell you what I think it is. This is as I understand it, and I'm sure you'll tell me otherwise. Internet. But this is as I understand it. <laughs> That it was it was born out of I believe it was Duchamp, right? Right. Um, who, in the rejection of the impressionists, was trying to reject retinal art, right? Right. And to make it more uh, cerebral art. So he yeah. was saying. Art doesn't just have to be a visual experience. It can be a more visceral or maybe intellectual experience than just something you, you look at a pretty picture. I know. Now, I think that that, you know, if that leads on to perhaps uh, surrealism and cubism, I think that that's, that's, that's a worthwhile way to go. My only feeling is abstract expressionism, kind of like you make up your own rules and I kind of don't know if I buy it. That's all. Right. And then, then if you return to retinal enjoyment of it, then it's all right. Oh, look, that's a nice blue thing. Thing, then that's See, that's the thing, but the, the, the nice blue thing costs forty million dollars. Well, that's the croissant. Now that's a that's a different argument. That's a different argument. That's the commercialization of art right there. I mean, you know, did you ever see the Boyle family stuff? 
No. Boyle family stuff is great. And what they do is they look at like a, a piece of sidewalk, like with a little, you know, a, a, a potato chip wrapper and a little drain, and they'd recreate it like exactly and put it on a wall. And it sounds like it'd be crawling. No, and then you look at it, and you go, "This is that awesome." That sounds like there's actually. merit in that. Yeah. Right. I just, I, I just don't believe it. I don't buy into it. I don't like it, and so I don't buy it. Well, you know, you, if you're going to spend your forty million dollars that you earned on the man yeah, in the high castle, exactly on, uh, <laughs> on Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon. January. Amazon's on. They don't just do books anymore. I know. They, they sell underwear and potato chips. It's awesome. <laughs> you should go on there. Do you ever, do you ever sit in your underwear eating potato chips? <laughs> yes, and I, and I buy things on Amazon. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> you on the Amazon. Post. <laughs> Easy on the... Speaking of... He's just talking about it. But speaking of buying things on the internet, I bought you something. A going away present. Really? So I stopped... So let me tell you the backstory. I stopped smoking. Finally. And so... Thank you. It's hard. It's very difficult. I'm out of my mind, dude. Yeah, yeah. And How long so, has it been? A month. Yeah. It, it, it'll get a little but easier. But this is now. the time, because yeah, yeah. I've always cheated before this... Before 30 days. Yeah. And so I'm just at 30 days today. Right. And so I feel like... It's hard, to, it's hard to focus. So what I'm doing is I'm using all the money that I would have spent on cigarettes, and I'm buying fun things with them, right? And I'm oh. making a list of everything I'm buying, so at the end of the year, I'm going to see all the cool Crikey. that I got. Amazed. Right. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of that, I, uh, I bought you a going away present. So the show has really meant a lot to me. It's in my pants. Um, uh, right, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it rattles. <laughs> say, yeah, yeah. It's in my pocket. Uh, it rattles in my jacket, and I have a mic on. So anyway, um, usually, I'm trying to guess what it is. Usually, you get a gold watch when you go away, right, from your a job. Gold, a gold watch. Yeah, but I'm not yeah. buying you a gold watch. <laughs> so yeah. I yeah, bought you. Going to get me a gold watch. <laughs> so I bought you an 18 karat gold plated toothbrush. Shut. No. <laughs> Boom. What? Happy retirement. Yeah. Pay for that. That is, that is awesome. I hope you like it. That is, that is, that is beautiful. I hope you like it. I hope everybody likes it. I bought a is, bunch of them. Uh, could we have some? <laughs> is, can we have some music for this? <laughs> oh, I love this show. Oh man, that's really nice. And it's in this handy plastic container. Yeah, I took the label off because it said the name. I know you don't like advertising on this well, show. Well, you know, it's not that I don't. I'm just not allowed. Right. I understand. Um, but uh, this is a gold, gold plated. Yeah, and it's antibacterial. That's what I need. Yeah. My mouth is a, is a, it's like a nest. So in is here. mine. I used the same one. And uh, you, you have a gold one too. Yeah, it's in my bag. I bought, I bought ten dozen of them. Uh, but. I, <laughs> But you were the idea behind it. Actually, Kim Kardashian and her gold toilet was behind it. They cost seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. They have a gold toilet. I don't know. If that was the rumor. I try not to pay attention to that stuff. You were. Kanye West said that mink pillows are uncomfortable to sleep on, and they just lost me right then. Mink pillows. Yeah, I mean, what, what that crikey! I used to dance on. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome mink pillows. Black velvet. <laughs> have you ever seen a mink? Not in person. I have a fake mink bedspread that I bought for forty dollars recently, also on the internet. You, you you don't have to always say the price of the thing you buy. Yeah, but I'm proud of it. Well, I know, but you know, it's it's like it, it seems like <laughs> kind of bragging a little bit. Forty dollars? Yeah, dude? you know, it's like big money. I know, you know people in China don't have mink bedspreads, right? For forty dollars. I don't know. Some some people do, I, I guess. Well, anyway, it was inexpensive, and I'm proud of it. I I like a bargain, yeah, as me you too. can see. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, where's my... No, the rhino's mine. No, but the plate that I gave you is still there, the one that has lead in it. Uh, yeah. Remember I when so. I gave the you one, that? What, the one with the queen? Yeah, I want you to take that with you wherever you go. Yeah, well, of course I will. Okay. It's Her Majesty the Queen. Right, awesome. God bless her. All right. And all who's... Did you ever meet her? No, I saw her in, I saw her in a car with Prince Philip once. It may not have been her. I, well, it could have been her double, but I think it, but the motorcade stopped us when I was living in London, and I was like, there's the queen, dude. Well... I don't remember if she was in the car with him or if he was in the car behind her. Can they ride together? Uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> you know what I mean. No, because if she, if she gets killed... Hey, you like that, don't you? If she gets killed, he's a, he doesn't become the king, right? So they can ride no, together. No, if she, if she passes away, Prince Charles becomes the king. Right. That's why he's always like, drink your juice, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I think she's the longest serving monarch or almost the longest serving monarch in British history. I mean, she's, Victoria lasted 61 years. I think she's going to outlive Victoria. It, I saw her driving a, a car the other day on TV. The Queen? Yeah, she was driving. 
What was it, like, like monster all the, truck or something? No, all the Secret Service were behind her. Why does the queen not have a Uh-oh. monster truck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just drive to the I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, what's up, I'm the... I got up. <laughs> I bet she has a nicer toothbrush than that, though. Yeah, she'll have... It wouldn't be gold-plated. It would yeah, be solid I gold. I know. And, and they would have probably stolen it from would be Egypt. made of uh, Wilfred Brimley's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Which are the most <laughs> cleansing substance known to man. I've heard. I've heard. You ever met Wilfred Brimley? No. He's awesome. Is he dead? No. <laughs> I thought oh, he died. Fine. He was here. He was here. Was he here recently? Yeah, he, he was here with his jazz trio. Shut up. Yeah. Are you making that up? No. Oh, wow. Hi, Wilfred Brimley. Yeah. yeah. I remember he was selling oatmeal for a while and then just went off the radar. So well, I, he, I li him. he lives, I think, in Montana. Oh, Montana. no, he does diabetes commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Commercials for uh, medicine for diabetes. So that's right. Yeah. yeah. In fact, so and he calls it diabetes. Like, what does it sound like, Jeff? Diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he calls it diabetes. Uh, I would have liked to have met him. Well, you know, you get yourself up to Montana, I'm sure. He's a, he's a little cranky, but very nice. You should have him on Celebrity Name Game, and I'll be the other celebrity on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Like. I would love that. Yeah, uh, okay, I will do that. Cool. All right, then I'll come back. Okay. All right. We solved it. DJ Qualls, everybody. Remember, everybody. Yeah. Um, you, are you friendly with DJ Qualls? You just tell me. My best friend. I love that. DJ's here all the time. He really did. He actually owes me a kiss. Uh, I just felt like it would be inappropriate, but he did say that. He what? Did say that. What, that you, I, that you, you should get a kiss from him. From him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know that we need to do that. Uh, I was throwing it out there. You didn't, well, have you ever we'll kissed him? You guys have been friends for a long time. You ever kissed him? Like, you ever get drunk one night and kiss him? You have! You have! You guys were drunk one night maybe a few years ago and you made out with them. You have! <laughs> you maybe? <laughs> You did. No? I mean, All right, you did. There was that one night. No, he's my best friend. Maybe in we high met school or something. I was 15. Right? You could get him in a lot of trouble. No. No. I was 16. But yeah, no. All right, all right. All right, how did you guys meet? Was he hanging around outside your school or something? What's going on? I, uh, how did we meet? I, um, oh, he was working with someone I knew and I went to visit that person on set and oh. he, and actually, um, we were outside. Uh, sitting on balconies facing one another and he decided to talk about something political and I couldn't follow and it was just love at first sip of coffee.